Hey guys, welcome to another theory of computation tutorial. In today's tutorial, we'll be learning about how to convert a Murray machine to Milli machine and we'll solve an example to understand the concept. All right, so let's get started. So let's say we are given this problem. You have to construct a Murray machine that prints A whenever it encounters the sequence 0, 0 and convert it into an equivalent Mili machine. All right. So what we'll do is first we'll construct a Mori machine that prints A whenever it encounters the sequence 0, 0. All right. So step one for constructing a uh, Mori machine is to understand that the output is dependent on the state. Okay. So step one is you construct a Mori machine. Step one. Now, what is it? It says that if you encounter sequence 0, 0, you have to print A. So let's say you're in starting state A okay and you encounter zero you go to state b okay again you encounter zero you go to state c and in this state you should uh, you should have the output a and in rest of the states the output can be small b okay so this is our basic structure now what happens if you get input one in state a so for example the sequence is one zero zero it should still be able to print out after this sequence it should be output should be a and in rest of the places the output should be like b b b b now if you don't know how to construct a more machine i have already made examples on that you can go and check them out first okay so if you get input one over here you go to state a itself fine what about in state b if you get input one what do you do you go to state a that is you go back to state a over here if you get input one okay and in state c what happens if you get input zero you go to state c itself why for example if you get sequence like this zero 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 okay so the sequence or the output sequence is going to be like this you get b in starting state a then again you go to state b for input zero you go to state b you get again output b over here you get input zero you go to state c the output is going to be a because you have encountered zero zero again you encounter zero you go to state c itself and the output is going to be a why because this sequence is also zero zero okay so it encounters zero zero again okay so in state c if you get input zero you go to state c and if you get input one then you go to state a you go to state a for input one okay now we'll write down this into our transition table okay so we have got our states input zero input one and the output all right now first the starting state it is a then we have got state B and state C and the output for state A is B, state B is B and state C is A. So let's write that down. We have got B, B and A. Here the output is dependent only on the states. Okay. And let's just copy this. So from state input, uh, state A, we get input 0, you go to state B. You get input 1, you go to state A itself. In state B, you get input 0, you go to state C. You get 1, you go to state A. And in state C, you get input 0, you go to state C. And you get input 1, you go to state A. Okay. Now what we'll do is we'll convert this Murray machine into its equivalent Milli machine. How you do that? So in Milli machine, the output is dependent on the state in which it is and the input also. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll check, we'll start with starting state over here. So let's say we are in starting state A. Okay. In starting state A, you get input 0 you go to state b where the output is small b okay so let's write it down you get input 0 it goes to a state where the output is b so output is b okay you are going to state b over here yeah now in state a if you get input 1 you are going to state a itself and over here the output is b so if you get input 1 you go to state a where the output is b so let's write down the output b okay now in state b what happens if you get input 0 you go to state c where the output is a so let's write that down if you get input 0 you go to a state where the output is a so 0 slash a okay and if you get input 1 you go to state a where the output is b so if you get 1 you have the output as small b so let's write that down yeah now in state c what happens you are in state c you get input 0 you are going to state c where the output is going to be a so you are going to state c itself where the output is going to be a so let's write the output as a all right and 
if you get input 1 you go to state a where the output is going to be b so if you get 1 the output is going to be b okay so we have converted this Murray machine to its equivalent milli machine now let's construct its transition table all right we'll construct the table over here yeah so let's say yeah we have got our states over here and output and input so we have got state and we have got zero and it, its output state and one and its output state okay so you are in state a starting state a you get input zero you go to state b and the output is going to be b so we'll write b and the output is going to be small b and if you get input one you go to state a and the output is going to be small b so let's write it down small a and the output is going to be small b okay now in state b what happens in state b if you get input zero you go to state c and the output is going to be small a okay so state c and the output is going to be small a and if you get one over here you go to state a and the output is going to be small b so you go to state a and the output is going to be small b and in state c what happens if you get input zero you go to state c itself and the output is going to be small a so c and the output is going to be small a and if you get one you go to state a and the output is going to be small b so a and the output is going to be small b so this is its equivalent milli machine and its transition table okay so i hope you got this concept now we, if you want we can pass some strings to this okay so let's say let's pass the string 0 0 0 0 okay now over here what happens you are in starting state a okay the output is going to be b correct then you get input 0 you go to state b over here the output is going to be small b again you get input 0 you go to state c and the output is going to be a so once you encounter 0 0 you are getting the output a okay here you get another zero you go to state c itself and the output is going to be a okay why because you have encountered zero zero again correct over here again you get zero you go to state c itself and the output is going to be small a why because you have encountered zero zero again okay so same thing we can try with the milli machine now so let's say zero 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 okay you are in state a you get input zero you go to state b okay you get input 0 so the output here was b b a a a okay so remember it is n plus 1 so if the input string is of length 4 the output string is going to be of length 5 but over here in milli machine the output is going to be same uh, of the same length as the input so if you are in string uh, let's say you are in starting state a you are in starting state a and you get input 0 you go to state b okay you go to state b and uh, sorry you go to state b and you have the output as small b okay so small b yeah now in st uh, state b if you get input 0 you go to state c and over here the output is going to be small a so once you encounter 0 0 you are getting the output as a okay now in state c what happens you get input 0 you go to state c itself okay and the output is going to be a so you encounter 0 0 again you are getting the output as a and again you encounter 0 that is you get the input 0 you go to state c itself and the output is going to be a that is you have encountered 0 0 okay so this is how we convert a Murray machine into its equivalent milli machine so if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comment section below thank you very much so that's it for today guys thank you very much for watching if you have any queries feel free to ask them in the comment section below if you have any suggestions please write them in the comment section below if you like the video please share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you very much